great venue. Let's have a look then at the teams. Plenty of experience for the Eagles, the likes of QLT, Ben Jones, Bishop and Chris Weller. And we heard earlier on from Anthony Thackeray. He'll be pivotal, as will Tom Holmes, the Featherston Loney. He's at dummy half. What about the Vikings then? Well, they make changes from the win over Whitehaven. Danny Craven is back. He's on the bench, not played since round three. Jake Spedding is back after injury, just his second appearance of the season. They are without Josh Johnson, but back row is Ollie Davis and Aaron Brown. Former Eagles back on home soil. The dangerous Adam Lawton starts on the bench. Here come the two teams then out onto the tunnel. A historic night. Matty Smith leads out the Vikings. Anthony Thackeray leads out the Sheffield Eagles. They've waited a long time for this. And we all, you know, we've spent a lot of time, we're guilty of it on Premier Sports. We're talking about Lee, we're talking about Featherston. There's four other clubs are going to get in the top six, and these two both think they can do it. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't bet past them if they can put a run of form together. You know, they've definitely got the quality. We spoke to Mark Aston before, and, and he mentioned the quality that's in his team. And you look through that witness side as well, there's plenty of quality in there too. So, yeah, like you say, Mark, we, we do speak about the, the top two, and, and rightly so, but... Yeah, there's, there's some big boys below him that'll want to knock him off too. Jewel Red spell at Sheffield a few years ago. Ball centre of the field here, the challenging centre field. Good carry, Callum Field on loan from Featherston. He's tackled five metres away from the line, slams the ball down. Here's Smith, goes out the back to Roby. Roby challenging the line, he's over! Lloyd Roby loves to try in front of the Premier Sports cameras. And he's in again, witness lead. They punish the Eagles errors early on. Yeah, it was a one-on-one -on -one miss there from uh, Isaac Farrell, ultimately that, that, that let um, Lloyd Roby score the try. And he's looked threatening, he's carried the ball twice in this game so far. Once from the scrum and then the second carry, obviously, for the try. And it was just a lovely little play from Matty Smith to tie up the defence. And it, and it just got him out, out on the outside. And the centre turns out on Spedding. It's a good line from Spedding that gets him involved. But I like the way he puts the ball in two hands. He double pumps Endo and gets over the line. Yeah, he certainly does there, Kevin. I've been really impressed with Lloyd Ryby this season. I think he's a genuine attacking threat out the back. And he takes his try well there. Like you said, gets on the outside of, of Farrell. I said it was the nice nice way to pass from Matty Smith as well. Ryby in great position. Ejects pace into the line. But it was good, Zach, for me. He just got ahead of Farrell and just slightly turns out, which opened the opportunity for, for Ryby to exploit. Field again, a willing runner centre field. And... Witness have started like they mean business tonight here. Brown gets it away. There could oh, be a wide break, and they're away over on the far side, and it's a second try. This time, Sam Wilde rampages through the Sheffield Eagles defence. And in quick time, Witness Viking leads by 10 points to nil. Sam Wilde with a try. The Vikings fans are loving it. Yeah, and it was just a little third line from Sam Wilde. He's such a strong player, is Sam Wilde. He's... Um... You know, an ex Newcastle and back to Widnes. Fantastic line. And it was just the ball there by, it was the halfback Joe Lyons who just digs into the line and he fades out. It's a great, great start and a great ball by Joey Lyons. And, and at the minute we mentioned, you know, the threat that Sheffield have on both sides, but it's Widnes who have exposed them on, on the right firstly and then on the left with Sam Wilde secondly. Look at this, they're 10 away, and here come the Eagles looking for their first try back on their home ground. Mark Aston said they want this to be a tough place to come. Well, it wasn't in the opening 10 minutes. 12-point advantage for the Vikings. But here they are, Thackeray now gets it away. They've got numbers. If they go through the hands, they won't need to miss out. Pass on the far side. And Ben George Bishop will stroll in for the first Eagles try here at the Olympic Legacy Park. Eagles are back in it. Eagles 4, witness 12. Yeah, fantastic attacking play here from the Sheffield Eagles. All come off the back of a witness penalty for being offside. That gifted the Eagles the field position. And this time they were clinical in their execution. And we'll see it here seen on the replay some fantastic ball movement from the forwards I think it was Mikey Wood originally that supplied the first pass we'll see it here now we've just seen the touch finder actually here on the replay it was Isaac Farrell That's a great kick. as Kev said wind assisted but it's Mikey Wood out the back to Thackeray nice way to pass to QLT and he fires the pass to 
to Ben James Bishop, but it was the line of run from the back row of Bauer on Joe Line. Holds up Joe Line. That creates the 3v2. Tyra needs to shut that play down for me. He holds, he holds, waiting for that inside assistance to come. It does it, and that allows QLT to pick the pass, and he made the right decision with the face pass to Ben James Bishop. And then, now they're going to play. Here is Farrell out the back. Big chance here, and a walking try for Jason Bass. Another beautifully executed Sheffield Eagles scrum move. And it's a walking try. The Eagles are back with him too. Well, it's third time lucky, Matt. That's the third time they've come up with the error, and it's the third time they've put that play on from a scrum. And it was almost the exact same outcome the previous set. Jason Bass just overrun QLT on, on the last one. And on that one, he just got it perfectly right. And Ryan Ince was just in between defenders. Isaac Farrell goes right to the line and sucks the defence in. And Ryan Ince is exposed. He's got to mark two defenders. He tries to throw his arm out, but it's to no avail. And it's a try from Jason Bass. Yeah, absolutely. Ryan Ince gets caught in no man. No man's land there for me, Kev. A great line from Josh Goodzek. You know, that, that means that Spedding has to go in, he has to take that lead line. But then Ryan Ince needs to follow him in and close QLT out the back. He fails to do that. He hangs fire, gets caught in between QLT and Bass, and it just ends up being a simple 2v1 in the end there, Mark. And like I said, well executed scrum attack. Farrell digging into the line. Great lines to run from Goodzek. Center field. Here they go. Thackeray. Thackeray with a dummy. That body's outside him as well there. And he's wrapped oh, it's oh, yeah, again. It's MT Farnworth in it, Thackeray. Well, it's, oh, now he's pushed him, and that'll be a penalty. I'll take the two. Well, the Thackeray old manned him there, but he's clearly <laughs> not happy, is he? He's <laughs> yes, clearly not happy. That's a great call, Mark Wilson. <laughs> he has old manned him 100%. 100%. He's just got in his head there, Thackeray, and he's, he's, you know, he's <laughs> ruffled his feathers. <laughs> Farnworth didn't like it. <laughs> and that's Fester's from the kick pressure before between yeah. them two. And I'm sure there'll be a third moment where them two come together. Looking up at the post, two from two. He struck his opening two pretty well. Can he do the same here? And look to add the extras. Here he comes, straight through the middle. So having been 12 points to nil down here, the Eagles have turned it around. They lead by two, six to go to the break. Got it on now, but he did get a bit of friendly fire there as Farrell waits inside the 10. Here now is Thackeray. Thackeray dummies gets it out wide. Oh, well, sensational. For the Eagles are in. Another ball over the top. This time from Thackeray. Well, Ben Jones Bishop thought he was going to get a double, but Chris Willems says thank you very much. The Eagles lead by six. Yeah, and he put it on a the plate there for Chris Wellham. And we mentioned the threat of that right edge for Sheffield. And a lot of it is down to that man, Anthony Thackeray, the experienced halfback. He summed that up fantastically well. Witness were really aggressive with their actions defensively. Shot up in the line and shot past the defenders, the attackers, sorry. And it's a great ball, lofted over the top straight into the path and still had some work to do there Chris Wellham Did finished it well really easy didn't he yeah the question I'd have there Hendo should Thackeray have eat three dummies there he shouldn't have time to get three no, dummies no, in, 100 percent so there's a couple of issues here defensively for witness they need a little bit more inside pressure to put that pressure on Thackeray this is huge uh, I think if if witness are going to win next or win this game they need to score oh. next well, there could be a chance Trotter. on the outside, and from a scrum, passes in for the double, gets it down, gives it a big celebration. The weight of hand again from the Eagles is another outstanding scrum play, and Sheffield go back to back on the tries. Bass it is, who's got a second, and the Eagles sprint. Ten points clear, they love a scrum play, the Eagles. Well, it's copy and paste, Mark. It's exactly the same player who scores the try, and it's exactly the same player. Isaac Farrell goes to the line, picks up this time a different player in, in Thackeray, not QLT, and the try scored. This time, Ryan Inch does follow his centre, but the depth is brilliant. The quick hands from Thackeray is fantastic, and it's another good finish from Jason Bass. This is turning into a tough night for Widness. I think they're just being exposed defensively and I think that's one area that if they do get a new coach in the next weeks or the, the, the incoming weeks one area they'll have to defend or get better is defending their own line Holmes now looking to pull the strings at dummy half go short trying to power their way over they may get there they will get there my 
Ricky Wood celebrates a try that could get the Eagles off to a winning start at Olympic Legacy Park. The Eagles lead by 26 points to 12. Yeah, well, I've enjoyed the battles this evening. There's been some great battles in the middle with the front rowers. There's been some great battles with the nines, with the halves, centres that have been across the field this evening. I've enjoyed it, and that simply was a battle of the two front rowers, and, and Mikey Wood, he just has too much strength and power. It gets across Kenny Baker, but it's the initial break by Joel Farrell, stepping off the right foot, getting on the inside shoulder of Matty Fozard, breaks the line, and he showed great patience, Farrell. At times he has that ability to bounce up and try and offload and keep the play going, but he does it, and Mikey Wood scores the try. Holmes gets it away. Here now is Isaac Farrell, oh, straight through, big step, see you later! The Eagles are flying here at the Olympic Legacy Park. Anything Joel can do, Isaac can do just as well. It's a full second half try, and they are flying away with it here. Wow, what a play. And it's straight through the middle again. This time there's, there's you know, deception around Isaac Farrell. But the athleticism to, he shows, not only to get through the line, but then the step, the right foot step. You know, he just didn't have a chance there, Joey Lyons. We see it now, he's, he shows he has the ball in two hands, puts the pace on, and then the side step. It's like he's got springs on his feet. What a try, and the crowd are going nuts now. What a finish. Yeah, fantastic play there from Isaac Farrell. And I love a halfback that takes a line on and Again, disappointing defence through the middle. There's enough there. Matty Fozard gets fended off. Aaron Brown doesn't doesn't assist his teammate there on the inside. And Farrell just makes it look so easy. But what I like was the acceleration. You know, he gets the ball, he goes, and he just accelerates. Ball here with the Vikings coming short side again. Short pass. Oh, that's a better pass. Ball back oh, on nice the inside. Play, play. Magical play from the Vikings. It'll be too little, too late. But Danny Craven at the heart of it again. And it's Craven who strolls over to score. Welcome back to the championship, Danny Craven. A uh, try for the Vikings who narrow the gap, 34 points to 16. Yeah, and I think there's nothing wrong with their attack. That's fantastic play. You know, the combination, Sam Wilde drifting out as he did for his try, drops the ball on his in inside shoulder for Joey Lyons, who finds a supporting player superbly by Danny Craven. Last one. Good defence. Yeah. Plenty of uh, UEFA Nations League football to come as well, as now here go the Vikings out wide, and they are going to score a try. Ryan Ince, well, he got four on the opening day of the season, and he's got another one now. Five for the year for him. Scant consolation, really, for the Vikings with two tries to round the night off. It is, and they, they have showed some good character, and they've given some you know, something for these fans to cheer about, but it's almost more disappointing when you see how good they can be. It's a great ball by... Matty Smith and sped in to set that man, Ryan Ince away. But yeah, it's very disappointing that they've left it so late. That long kicking game for him can get his team out of trouble time and time again, and that's it, Mark. It's all over here, opening night, an emotional night at Olympic Legacy Park. Not much emotion on the face of Mark Aston, but it's a job well done for the Sheffield Eagles. They've waited a long time for a place to call their home. And that fan there, that man there, Joel Farrell, at the heart of a wonderful performance. Witness opened up a 12 point lead, but that was quickly eaten into 14 12. The Eagles led at the break, and four tries in 12 minutes saw them race to a 34 12 lead. Witness got a couple laid on, but it wasn't enough. 34 points to 24.